Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what I can say about this course for me, the most important thing is that when you are speaking of time is that we need a time frame. Whereby if we need to do a certain job, then we must have know the time when we're going to be studying the project and when it's going to be the end time. So that if we fail, we know that we can be able to see in time that we're failing and be able to make changes. Another thing we need uh, the conflict management. That before you can make any judgment or before the judgment can be taken place, uh, you've got to be fair in the sense whereby you've got to give the person a chance to come and explain himself so that you can be able to hear the story from the guy and be able to take the right decision. And another thing has been the different kinds of leadership whereby you can be, as a leader, you can always have <coughs> like one-way traffic of leading people. There are times where I've got to use a certain way of uh, leadership, if I may make example, like wherever you need to be democratic, uh, allowing people to express themselves so that at least when they do whatever that they be, they be doing, we've got a chance to hold them accountable because they're the ones we have come with the plan, and that one being uh, the leaders fair, whereby your guys are able and willing to do the job. So you've got to make a difference in the way you've got to deal with people. Some other people have realized that we, you need to tell them if you've got the facts for doing that, because you can see, you know, this guy, he still needs some coaching and this and that there and there. So you've got to know exactly what you need to apply. And another thing, being able to differentiate between being a manager and a leader, because at times, as a leader, I've got to move from being a leader and being a manager because of the role that I'm playing back at work, especially when you've got to come and make sure that compliance is there on the guys. And another thing, being a mentoring and coaching. So, as a coach, as a mentor, I can't just mentor for the sake of mentoring. I've got to understand know exactly the roles of the part that I'm playing so that I'll be able to deliver the right information to the guy. And also, when am I going to be needed to coach the guy? Because I can't just be a mentor. There are times where I have to be a mentor and at the same time play the coaching role to make sure that the guy is doing exactly what is needed and required from him. So I would just like to say to the last man from Chris, uh, thanks for the course. And hopefully looking forward to meet you again and we'll try to make sure that we practice and apply whatever that we have learned from this course. And thanks to everyone who have just come all the way to make sure that they, they come here to witness this. Thanks everyone and thanks very much. Thank you.